Hi Leo, welcome to October and welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Today I will be doing your upcoming October 2020 monthly tarot reading. All right, so the first thing I will do is pull a first layer here, get an idea of the general, get a general idea of the um, energies that are coming through for you guys. I'll put up a photo of those cards as well. And then I will go in and clarify each of those energies by pulling two additional cards. All right, Leo, let's get right into it for you guys. October 2020. Few more shuffles i'll lay your cards down let's see two more for leo all right last one and let's see the situation challenging you where's your mind at what's your approach when it comes to this any external influences or people that may be affecting you and then the near future outcome what is coming towards you all right, you guys, I'm feeling like there is some clarity, some aha moment coming through for you guys, and we're needing a judgment call here. Um, <clears throat> but let's see, the very heart of the situation, we got some of you really just going in, mastering your craft for some of you, you know, making small sacrifices today for bigger gains tomorrow. So it's that kind of energy, but it's very committed. It's very hardworking energy, you guys, this month. In the challenge position, we have that Ace of Swords. This could be about an honest conversation. This could be about a truth coming through. This could be about the clarity you need when it comes to some tough decision you need to make. Because you guys, we have judgment here. We have the Two of Swords here in your environment. So there's something when it comes to your environment that it's like, do I stay on this path? Do I go on a new path, you guys? On your mind, we do have your energy. It was really positive energy with the sun. It's very illuminated energy. It's focused on positive things. It's focused on looking at the bright side of things, seeing that, that there is a new day coming, um, feeling vibrant and happy again. It's your own energy. It's the happiest card in the entire tarot. And that's how your mind is operating right now. I really love it. Let's clarify this um, Eight of Pentacles. And let's see, it's very hard work and very committed. Like I said, some of you can be going in and mastering a skill, one that you're already very good at, but now you're going in and fine tuning those details. And that involves making sacrifices, right? Maybe not being able to hang out as much with some or others, but let's see, let's clarify this eight of pentacles as the central energy this month for you. All right, Leo, what's this Eight of Pentacles? It's very committed, very dedicated, very hardworking energy. Um, it could be for all around your life, but let's see. Two more. And let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles. All right. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, Leo. We get an Eight of Pentacles. And judgment again. Ooh. I feel like, yeah, whoever this is resonating with, it's like you've got a decision to make. Do you keep putting in the work or do you not? Is very much the energy I'm feeling here, guys, especially with that Two of Swords. Judgment came through twice. So there's a decision here. And it very much feels like it's related to your work. Whoever this is resonating with, that's what's coming through, you guys. It's a lot of hard work here, though. Whatever direction you go in, I feel like it's going to involve a lot of commitment from you, a lot of dedication from you, um, and possibly some sacrifice, right? Like opportunity cost. Nothing's for free, right? That's why I even said in the beginning, making smaller sacrifices today for larger gains tomorrow. But there's a big decision here, and I feel like, do you keep putting in the work, or do you not, Leo? And that's the, that's the focus here. All right, let's clarify this Ace of Swords. Do we need a strategy here? You need a clear solution here? Let's see. What's this Two of Swords about for Leo? What is this Two of I'm sorry. I keep looking at the Two of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about for Leo? In the challenge position, this Ace of Swords. It's an honest conversation. There's a lot of ways, you know. Um, yeah, the Two of Swords wanted to come out again. All right, let's clarify. Two more shuffles. You know, today I've been getting a lot of repeated energies. It's feeling like October's got a specific message for each of us and it's hammering it in. All right, two more. 
right. Ace of Swords in your challenge position, Leo. We get that Six of Swords and a Page of Swords. Okay. There's a lot of mental energy right now in your challenge position. There's, there's a transition happening here. I think there's something you've put a lot of work into right, in, right now, guys, that you're, it's tough for you to make this judgment call because you've put so much work into it. But now you're transitioning. You're moving on. You're moving on, Leo. And I feel like you're just needing a clear strategy when it comes to how do you transition. And you're just, you're a little challenged by right now getting the information you need with that Page of Swords energy. This is a gatherer of facts. This cuts to the heart of things, cuts to the truth of things. That's what the Page of Swords does. They go out there seeking, learning, discovering. They get what they're looking for and it's information. And it's a little bit in the challenge position. It's having that mental clarity, basically. The ability to put your ducks in a row, just like those swords, and move on. It's not excited to move in a different direction, not at all, but it's knowing that it's what is needed, what is best. And it's a little bit in that challenge position, either having that clarity, having that solution, having that conversation, having the information you need to do so. All right, on your mind, you guys, we have that sun, very positive, vibrant energy, illuminated energy. All right, let's clarify the sun, this bright new day. You're wanting that vibrancy back. You're wanting that joy back, that vitality back, right? All right, just like in its true form, the Knight of Wands came rushing out of my deck. This is your mind being really active, really impulsive, can be super creative as well. It is an act first, think later type of energy. So that's where that impulsiveness comes from. But it's just excited. It's adventurous. It can think outside of the box. It's fun, you know. So it's very positive, excited, sparking type energy. It's a lot of fire in your mind. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this on one more time for your mental space. Yeah. Got your mind sparked up right now. The fire and passion is there. The clarity is needed, it feels like. All right, one more. All right, we have the hermit here. Yeah, you're going within as well in your mind. You've been through some stuff, you guys, and I feel like you're just trying to decompress and analyze what's happened here with the hermit. But it's going within for inner guidance as well. Using your life experience, just like the hermit, that's what he's processing is everything he's experienced, right? And so I feel like you're going within, you're using your experience, you're getting illuminated by that, and you're kind of getting excited by the ideas that might be coming up, that might be coming to the surface here, guys. I really like it. It's a really positive mental space to work through. Um, even though right now we're needing a little bit more clarity, a little bit more of a solution of a strategy perhaps, but the mind is working in a really passionate way. And you're using your life experience, Leo. Now in your approach, we have judgment again. We got decision here. It's like you've gotten some new information. Do you answer this call now? With this new information, we got a judgment call we need to make, right? It could be your own calling. Are you rising from the ashes? Is that where that excited the sun energy is coming through? Um, but let's see. Even if it's work-related, you know, if it is work-related, you guys... There's something about a personal calling with um, judgment, and it's here twice. It's like finding your life's purpose kind of energy, right? All right, let's see. Two more cards. Let's clarify judgment here for Leo. Life's purpose, rising from the ashes. Um, all right, one more. We're going to take these two. Okay, we have the Three of Swords here and the Moon, you guys. There's a feeling of something truly did not turn out the way you thought it would. There can be some grief here, some sorrow here, but it's, you know, with the Three of Swords being here, it's just really, in your approach, it's saying that you're having a hard time overcoming this, right? And it can be because of this moon energy, you guys. The moon is our subconscious coming to the surface, meaning things may not be as they appear yet. We may not have all the information we need just yet. And that's why it might be hard to make that decision. That's why that clarity is in the challenge position, because maybe you're still needing to gather some information. That's why it's so difficult 
to let this go with that three of swords energy and the approach you're just having a hard time letting it go and right now you're working through all of these things that are coming up it's you you don't know yet what to trust even in your own mind even in your own heart even in your own mind and even in your own heart right now and you know you've got to make a judgment call though it's just having a hard time making this judgment call because it can cause you pain guys especially if it's a new direction like I said with that two of swords it's difficult because it can cause you pain it can really cause you some sorrow some grief you know um, but the judgment call is one you can't ignore right it's like you got some information now some insight now and like you just see it, it, it's new information that you have to work with it's like it's like once you see color you can't pretend color doesn't exist right you can't pretend that world and black and white anymore and it's judgment is that kind of energy it's information new information that you cannot ignore you can't pretend it's there so even though it might be uncomfortable and it might involve some kind of pain here it still can't be ignored right so you're just kind of working through it whoever this is resonating with in your environment you guys we got that two of swords energy right um it's feeling a little stuck not knowing what direction to go into that's where judgment is here you're trying to get that clarity you don't know yet which path to take let's clarify this two of swords in your environment for leo what is this two of swords about okay i will take it We got the five of wands and the five of pentacles. Yeah, first of all, two fives being here, something's changing in the environment. It's, it's, it's out of our control. And I feel like the old path right now is feeling like you're conflicted. You're very conflicted because there's a fear of being left out in the cold as well when it comes to these paths. Um, so I just feel like there's a little inner conflict right now because the moon is here twice, even though it's only fell once technically, but the crescent moon is there as well. And you could see she's got the blindfold on. So there's still more to be learned when it comes to the situation. There's still more that's going to be revealed. And maybe you don't, yet, maybe you don't yet have everything you need to make this judgment call, but you're conflicted right now. Something's got you feeling a little torn when it comes to your environment. And it's about walking a new path. And I feel like there's a little fear of being left out. But fives again are about change. Really fundamentally in numerology, it means change is coming. And there is definitely change coming in the environment. Because you can only stand at that crossroads for so long. At one point, you will take that step. Coming towards you, Leo, we have that four of pentacles. This is a little guarded. Can also be creating a budget if need be. Secure in your foundation as well. But let's see here. We'll need two more cards to clarify it because I'm not sure just yet. Are you guarded or are you just secure in your foundation? Let's see. We have one. We have, ooh, death is here. Change is coming, guys. Ooh, and the hanged man. <sighs> we got some, yeah, it can be pretty uncomfortable, but something when it comes to your relationship with money, absolutely for some of you, is changing. If you've been keeping your cards close to your chest, keeping your guard up, feeling like you need to protect yourself, that too is changing. But there is something that's really changing and there's a perspective of yours that is totally going to shift by the end of this month. If it doesn't resonate today, if this reading has resonated, I feel like with the hangman by the end of the month, because death and the hangman are here coming towards you. The way you've seen something will change. You will gain that new clarity, that new perspective, and it'll allow for death to come through. That change, that transformation that phoenix rising from the ashes just like judgment you guys so there is a new perspective coming through it will require some surrender you know maybe you'll fight it so long and then at one point you're just like fine let it rain and then once that happens you're able to kind of gain that clarity that you needed that new perspective you needed 
And then you're able to make that decision. Okay, Leo, I will leave it there for you. Change is coming this month. If anything resonates, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you guys for letting me tune into your energies and I will see you all next week.